I switched the style, but I think that was too late. Let the hunt begin. Okay, let's see. So it should be zoo because I'm facing so much zoo. Hmm. Do I want to keep the owl? I think I want my early game drops and my weapons against Zoo. Mm. Okay. Of course, compared to Savannah Hymen, I would really much rather have an owl. But not possible. Okay, I want my owl right now. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there it comes. Nice, nice, nice. Really good. You really want to immediately silence the egg because um, if you don't do it, they, they will just activate it and then it's too late. So I think here, because it's too damage, I go for the face. Um, That gives him the possibility right now to coin uh, Defender of Argus. But okay, we are facing lots of sticky minions here. Ah, but that's a really good pickup. Unleash the hounds. Pretty nice. I think I still want to clear this. Savannah I'm in for five mana. The question is, does he have Sea Giant? Is there a Sea Giant coming up? I could still play Unleash the Hound next turn. So what does it do, Unleash the Hounds? I kill the Haunted Creeper first, of course. And then I almost clear the board, but I'm not developing really anything. Hmm. I think I just place it in a high man here. And go face. It's a huge risk, but... Hopefully I will be able to play Unleash the Hounds next turn. The good thing is he doesn't have Sea Giant. Here I might want to go for quick shot, unleash the hounds mm. and haunted creeper. Unless oh, unleash the hounds and hound master is also pretty good. But quick shot, unleash the hounds and haunted creeper allows me to fully clear his board. That's pretty powerful. I must quickly. Think I will do that. All sticky minions removed. That's really a lot. That's very good against Zoo. My shield for Argus. Uh, maybe 
Maybe I get another owl. Ooh, Glaive Zooka. That's good here, I think. No, uh, maybe not too good. Maybe kill command is better. Is it? Hmm. I think kill command here is fine. One defender of Argus is not so scary. He cannot even kill my board right now, or not even kill my taunt right now. Okay. Oh, nice. There was a sea giant. That's huge. That's really, really good. Oh, mad scientist. That's also really good. So, hero ability happens anyway. I think this is also happening anyway, is it? No, not really. If I get to buff one of the spiders, I can choose to take 5 damage. He dropped another Doom Guard. So, he doesn't have. Uh, I think I do wanna keep my Haunt Master if possible. Ah! Right, I can even keep him full health. That's amazing. That's really amazing. I didn't even see that. So that's really looking good here. I have full control of the ball. Full full control of the board. <laughs> wow. Put this apple on your head. And he's super low already. So let's see, is that lethal? No, not quite yet. But almost. I bring him down to two, that means he doesn't get any chance to tap anymore. So next round he should be dead. Zoo usually doesn't run heal. So... Yeah, it's over. That's really good, because most of the time I lose against Zoo, uh, not as good as uh, most matchups, but you don't face these matchups oftentimes. I think, I'm not even sure, the Death Lord Priest might be some issue, I don't know, but you don't play against the Death Lord Priest, so... Against the uh, really common decks, um, the mid-range hunter really doesn't have any bad matchup, except for a face hunter. That's it. That's his only weakness. Okay, he um, dropped all his four cards. That's good for me, I think. Greetings, traveler. Greetings, friend. Let's see what he's coining out. Whirling Zepomatic. That means he's a really aggressive mech mage. Uh, mech shaman. Sorry. Um. Here I have the possibility to silence that. To save myself some damage. And I have the possibility to play knife juggler. Most likely the knife... No. Hmm. I think silence is better. He might play an Oitron next round. So I really don't want to take six damage here. Yeah, I expected the Oitron. Maybe it would be better to um to silence the Neutron, but then he would have... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I wonder... Okay, here I think... Wow, my hand is really bad. 
For some mm. reason, I always get the late game cards with this this deck. I always get Savannah Hyman, Doctor Boom, and or Lothab. That's I have just four late game cards, and they always come up. And the four drops Quickly. never come up, and there are also four four drops. There are two Shredders and two Hauntmas. They never come. But yeah, that's mm. just variance. Hmm. Is it better to play kill command here? Maybe it is. Not sure about that. Okay, kill command saved my knife juggler. That's good. I should have attacked first. I really don't want to hit the knife into the taunt totem. He's going face. Okay, I get another kill command. Maybe I want to clear the mech. Yeah, why not? Does he run charge? Hmm. But I don't want this one to get. Next round I have Dr. Boom, so. Can he use Crackle right now? Totem is one mana, so if he somehow manages to give this totem attack, it will cost three because it will be returned, of course, by the freezing, freezing trap. Let's see, I'm a little bit scared of Rockbiter weapon. He didn't play one of these yet. What to do? And he has the Doom Hammer, Doom Hammer activated already. Hopefully, he doesn't have. To I Fine with low that. Okay, here I think I will go ahead and kill Lothap I hunt alone. and give him trouble. Looking pretty good now, I would say. But I think I'm dead to Rockbiter. Well, I'm not sure. He played one crackle already. He needs Rockbiter. Mm, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Wow, wow. Oh, well, at least I give him plenty of targets right now. Okay, I think I'm dead when... Yeah. I'm dead when Ragnaros hits me. He's taking 50-50 right now, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, that was good. So let's see. Oh, that's also good. I think I will just play Gazerilla right now. Any trades don't really make sense. I die anyway if Ragnaros hits me. I think Gazerilla is fine. This one gets frozen and becomes 8 mana. Then he can use 2 mana. And then he can just kill my Misha. Yeah, well. Do I want to damage him for 2? I think I do because I can anyway not use my weapon to attack anything. Oh, he's at 9 mana, that's good. That means he can only play the fire elemental and not really any other cars. Something like Lava Shock or something. So he really has his... It's all up to Ragnaros. Ragnaros will decide who wins or loses this game. So it's basically a huge random outcome here. <laughs> I think he will also be dead next round, no matter what happens. <laughs> so... Ah, well, let's see what he... he has so many cards in hand. That's very good. Oh, that's really good. Maybe he stays alive. So... Ah, wow. Greg. So mean. He got me. Well, 20% chance to win. Another zoo, most likely. Wow, this hand is really nice. Finally, I get the early game going. I will keep this, no matter if he's zoo or handlock or Maligos lock or whatever. He also kept all his cards. Wow, that's scary. Greetings, traveler. That most likely means that he will play White Walker now into Coin Flame Imp. Oh, or he doesn't play anything. Huh, that's cool. Um, that means he's handlock. Mm. Since I have a weapon, I will play Eagle Hunt. Oh, I will play the Mad Scientist. <coughs> it also does deals more damage and. I can use the Haunted Creeper later as target um, for the Houndmaster. So let's see, do I want to kill this with the Mad Scientist and the bow? I think it doesn't really make sense. Not yet. Even if he taunts up, it doesn't really matter here. Ah, oh, that silence though. That's huge. Why would he dark on my mad scientist? I mean, that doesn't really make sense. Mad scientist isn't that much of a threat. Okay, I will, of course, take my favorite trade here and see what I get. A magma rager. Uh, core rager, not magma rager. Well, hmm. Do I want to play this here? Next turn is low fab. I think the Haunted Creepers are much more interesting because 
he will most likely play a really really big minion next turn and I want one of my small minions to go and do that or maybe he just taps. So he's playing it a little bit differently than most handlocks do. Most handlocks like draw two cards even against a hunter and then they play out all the big stuff and he played one two three he played four cards before tapping the first time. That means so he doesn't have any Mountain Giant in hand. And most likely also no Twilight Drake. Maybe he's not even playing those cards. So here I think Lothap is pretty good. And I will be hitting him. I... hmm... No, I don't want to use my weapon. So if he taunts up his uh, Ancient Watchers right now, no he doesn't, he plays his much Gacha. Um, yeah well that's of course a perfect owl target. I will do that. Do I want to play the Core Rager? I think I can push this to a 7-7 seven seven very easy. But I also don't want to play Unleash the Hounds here. I think I will just push him down to 10. Maybe even lower. Yeah, maybe even lower and see if he's got the Molten Giant combo or not. Because my hand is pretty interesting. I have the Hunter's Mark to counter any big taunts. My board looks also pretty good. My board is not so weak against AoE because I get all the 1-1s. One mm. And I have Lothab. He's also not too weak against AoE. Okay, right now he cannot heal. And he cannot turn up. That means that's it. Well, he got the two mountain giants, but he didn't have any... Um, he didn't have any... Taunt. Well. So Handlock is, I think, a fairly good matchup for mid-range hunter. Because kill command is really... I will fight with honor. Let the hunt be Paladin. I think against Paladin the Owl doesn't do much, the Kill Command also doesn't do much. Animal Companion... Uh, I really do want to get my early game. Companion is okay, but... Yeah, Mad Scientist is much better. Greetings, traveler. Ooh, Glaive Suka, that's really nice. That's really nice. That means I call out the scientist, I guess. Show them all. Red alert. Wow, another scientist. Hmm. I think that's a pretty good silence target. I'm still not sure if this is aggro paladin or r regular mid-range paladin. I could just play freezing trap and send this guy home again. I but I wonder. think I will do this later.
So I think either I and Beak Owl and get my trap out. That's weak against Master for Battle. I decided for the Glaive Suker because the Owl is really weak against Master for Battle. It just dies against his Light's Justice, against his weapon. And I hit the Divine Shield because then he gets a more or less free Let trade with his minion and now he can he should not be able to kill my mad scientist and activate the trap immediately okay there is master master for battle so the owl was good okay he wanted to activate the trap hmm Hmm, I really didn't want to see the quick shot here. I mean, it's not super bad, but. Hmm. I also have no turn four play. I think I just played the scientist. <laughs> I kill one of these guys. He should really not be able to... ...to kill the scientist. And, oh no, the scientist doesn't even get out another trap. That's bad. I'm, I'm only running two traps in the deck, so, yeah. Sad times. Put this apple on your head. Put this apple on your head. Wow, two night jugglers. That sucks. Oh, I think that's a hmm. I think I quickshot one of these. Now the question is if I trade my own knife juggler against his. Or... If I silence his knife juggler. I wonder... Yeah, why not? The weapon is really bad, but if I play my knife juggler, okay, that sucks. I did it wrong, <laughs> to be honest. I just did it wrong. If he has like Aldo Peacekeeper right now, I'm super screwed. Well, at least I have a 6 and I have a 7. That's horrible. I think this is lost. Yeah, well, if he has. Ah, if I get unleashed the hounds, I still might have a chance. But not really. <laughs> if he plays like quartermaster next round. Okay, I get another high main. Job done.
I played Dr. Boom here over the the other high main because um, it's more mana efficient. Next turn I will be able to play uh, to play Freezing Trap and uh, Savannah high main, and I would not be able to play Dr. Boom. I've got the beast in my and Freezing Trap, no. but it turns out to be like really bad. I need to unleash the hounds here or I'm super dead. Mm, okay, I'm dead anyway next round. I think he sh should have had lethal this round. Oh, this one maybe helps. Maybe. Not sure about that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm dead. 